So today was the first day of my forest therapy training and there's a few different things that really stuck with me that I just want to communicate and I'm not really making these videos for information but more my experience as well as to look back on. So I feel like I talk a lot about visualizing, visualizing your life and the things you want in it and making vision boards and things like that and there are certain places I've gone and people who I've been with that have shared similar visions to me and I think whenever you get a group of people together that have a similar vision, a similar passion, a similar idea, way of living, you just feel like this automatic connection to everyone even though you don't even know them. That's kind of how I felt. It's happened before with different topics and different things, but for some reason this feels specifically different. Um, I can't really explain why, it just does. It's really extraordinary to be around people that you don't really have to explain yourself so much to. You all come and you all have an understanding of what this is and often that reflects in the way they live their life. I just feel extremely grateful and appreciative of not only having this opportunity and being able to share it with the people I am sharing it with as well as having my family supporting me. The decision to not go to college was kind of a, it was a big decision, but I had prepared everyone, I think, pretty pretty well for it. At the end of, of 11th grade of high school, I was like, I'm not going to college. And it was a year of convincing and trying really to hone in on what exactly I'm trying to accomplish with my decision not to go to college and what I really want to do. Something like forest therapy or this exact thing is just what I wanted as this overall foundation for everything I'm trying to create. Specifically, I think the sustainable community, I feel like that is one of the main projects that I feel like will eventually involve this forest therapy work. I guess I just feel like it's the connecting piece. Growing up, I spent a lot of time outdoors playing sports or just being outside. I was grateful enough to go to a Waldorf school that promoted people to go outside. We were just able to really be present. Not until about ninth grade, I wasn't very conscious of, I guess, who I was and what I wanted. Um, and I think often for other people it happens a lot sooner. Sometimes it's it's forced on by parents or sometimes it's, I don't know, whatever it is. And that's not to say I didn't have goals and dreams and things I wanted to do. Back early on in my schooling, I wanted to be a professional baseball player, then I wanted to be a professional basketball player, then it went to a fashion designer, interior designer, event planner, then it was a professional tennis player, and then an entrepreneurship business type um, major for college and now I'm just living I'm just figuring things out I think a lot of people have a misconception of who I am and what I do with my life I work part-time three days a week and then I also run the online business of the apparel and the ebook I'm also trying to create a resource livinglifefruitfully.com as like a big resource for like all things alternative whether that be this forest forest therapy forest bathing stuff or you know my tiny house tinyville community that i want to create digital nomading investing ethical investing is something i really want to get into um so i have so many different interests and i know that all of you guys do too. I really feel like for me that this is the the balancing place because I have so many different things I'm interested in that it can get overwhelming sometimes and having a centering place of um, calmness and a place like that feels really at home that's kind of what I feel like this forest therapy will be. 
so if you want to learn more about it i will leave some links below these won't be up for a while because i will not be using internet i have no plans to but i do want to kind of share my experience in some way one other thing that i want to mention before I go. I'm the youngest to go through this training and I hope I'm not misjudging anyone but I feel like I'm the youngest by probably at least 10 years maybe more. I'm not trying to communicate anything by saying you ages but I'm just trying to I want that as a, a, a fact right. So I think a lot of times as a younger generation we don't want to reach out to older people for support. And I think older people are more um, inclined to not reach out to someone who's younger because they might feel like they are inexperienced, don't know enough about the world, or just simply wouldn't get it. And I find that very wrong and specifically annoying, being someone who loves having meaningful conversations with people and so just overall I really hope that you know obviously I am beginning to realize that I guess I'm being exposed to asking older people for help and support and I hope through this training that they will see that not every teenager technically still teenager is harmful, doing drugs, drinking all the time, socializing, partying, um, clueless about life, has no vision, isn't empowered at all, doesn't know what they want. I think I very clearly know what I want and I'm hoping to communicate that through this forest therapy stuff. I'm hoping to share some forest therapy stuff with maybe some of my viewers who are close enough and can come because I will be this is actually a six month training, but this is just a week introduction intensive course. And then you have exercises and things to do throughout the six months. Anyway, I hope you are having an amazing day. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will see you very soon.